back on Game Time with highlights of Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. Jason Kidd and Dirk Nowitzki going to the Hall of Fame one day, but they have work to do right now. Take out Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And here we go with the highlights. And it starts early with some chippy play. Tyson Chandler, Kendrick Perkins, they're big fans of one another right here. Yeah, they're trying to establish who's going to be the dominant guy in the paint. And uh, early on, I thought maybe Kendrick Perkins might be ready to get his game on, Brent. Well, if I was walking down a, a, an alley, I would not want to see either one of those. Be honest with you. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki gets funky with the rim right there. I, I'd also be lost. Uh, yeah, great start here by Oklahoma City on the road. You know, coming right off of that Memphis series, you see Russell Westbrook in the fast break. That's not something Rick Carlisle wants to get used to. Clock winding down in the first quarter. J.J. Brea is off. Kevin Durant is not. He had 13 points in the first quarter. OKC led 27-20. You know, and early on, they looked great. It was going to look like there would be an issue in terms of the rhythm and the rust for Dallas. But then JT, the Jet, got it going in that second quarter. The Mavs started the game 0 of 6 from three-point range, and then they got it going. Jason Terry was a part of them coming out of that slump. Dirk Nowitzki lays it in, part of a 7-0 Dallas run. They are within two. Then Kendrick Perkins to Serge Ibaka. Wait for it, wait for it, and one. <laughs> nice interior passing there. Perkins over the top of Haywood and Ibaka there. Bad foul by Dirk. Surprised that he got contact on that. The great interior work by the big men. Serge, after being in foul trouble for most of the Memphis series, had 17 here in game one. And Kendrick, or uh, Sean Marion just gets elbowed right here by Kendrick Perkins. Nothing malicious, but uh, nevertheless a broken nose for Sean well, Marion. Rick Carlisle not happy with it. He saw the contact. There was nothing, no intent involved. But Sean Marion played the rest of the game pretty beat up. So a game effort by him. Yeah, Marion played well, though. The easy dunk right here. Part of another Dallas 7-0 run to take the lead. 46-45. Then it's Sean Marion to Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, and here getting out in transition, finding Dirk on the cut and the finish with the contact. And Dallas really got into a great rhythm after their bench came in in that second quarter, gave them a little bit of a boost, and then Dirk was just delicious. Give me a break with that. <laughs> Shooters roll, as they like to say. Delicious. Tonight, he was a shooter. Delicious is the word of the night, isn't it? I like that. The Thunder in the third that quarter. Wasn't, that wasn't very tasty. Not shooting well at all. Russell Westbrook misses. Russell Westbrook driving. I mean, you got to hit the layups. Well, aggressive to the basket, no foul called there on that particular play, but they were not getting anything going. And on the other end, you're watching everything that Dirk is touching falling through the net. We're watching greatness here, aren't we? Oh, there's no doubt about it. One of the best to ever play the position. Maybe, I, I would also say, the greatest shooter, arguably, to ever play that position. When you look at the full repertoire, and J.J. Barea, the unsung hero in a lot of ways in this game, OKC had no answer for him in that fourth quarter. He helped the Dallas bench outscore OKC's bench 53 to 22. Couple points from the OKC bench right there from James Harden. That was an 8-0 run that Kevin Durant hits the fadeaway. He had 40 points in the game and we had a five point game, but Dirk with answers all night long. Well, where are you gonna go? Uh, the Thunder made a nice run. It felt like the Mavericks were up by 15 or 20 all night long and the Thunder would just not go away. So they find Dirk. Dirk reads the double team on this play, finds the Jet. Flaps are down, head towards the bench. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dirk Nowitzki at the line right here. 22 of 22. He already passed Paul Pierce, who made 21 of 21 in a playoff game for the all-time record. 23 of 23. And Greg Anthony, 24 of 24. The best free-throw line performance in NBA history. Unbelievable.